Hello there, and welcome to Women's Business. My name is Dr. Marianne Schalkos Smith, known to most as Dr. Daycare, and this is my co host, Amy Vogel. We'd like to welcome you to our mentoring program designed to educate our community on issues facing working women. We will be speaking to our guests in the areas of art, sciences, health, education, law, medicine, politics, community service, military, and business. The goal of the show is to provide information that comes only from personal experience and to pass this information down to our daughters, nieces, neighbors, family, and friends. Much of the content will relate to the guest speaker's journey in their profession, what they have learned most about this process, and what they wished they had known before this journey began. Since women-owned businesses are the fastest growing sector of our economy, my guests will close with what lesson they would like to pass on to the viewing audience. Hello there. Thank you for joining Amy and I on Women's Business. I am honored today to welcome Paulina Salin. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. great. Thank you. I owned a transportation company in Las Vegas and now a resident of Rhode Island. Yes. This is amazing. So we're going to hear your story after Amy gives us a quote. The greatest danger to our future is apathy. Oh. I'm liking okay. this woman's quote. Thank yes, you, Amy. Yes, thank you. So Paulina, tell us. Now, a little bit. <laughs> Tell us your journey. We're yeah. ready. <laughs> well, I'm originally from the Philippines. Wow. And um, the Canadian government has a humanitarian program back then where they can sponsor a person and work as a domestic help. Oh, wow. And then after three years of that, working in Canada, you get your landed immigrant status, which is equivalent to a green card here in America. Yes. So my aunt took advantage of that and sponsored me. So I helped her out pretty much. Yeah, she ran a little motel 200 miles east of Vancouver. Okay. And I did all the cleaning, washing, help her raise her kids. We we're all teenagers back then, but I was the oldest. And um, just really have a lot of chores, work, uh, work school school work that's that's all we in, did this was in canada this was in canada no. and um then after that i uh put myself through college um nobody can afford it my parents can afford it and so i um work as a nanny for a doctor in vancouver so oh, i can wow. go to school and at night i went to college in capilano in north vancouver and then uh, the weekend i worked for a bus company oh wow that's so how <laughs> That's how it all began. <laughs> Who ever thought your weekend job would take you through to retirement? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I did everything for that bus company. I was the it girl. Were you? you well, know. What is an it girl? <laughs> I, I know what you mean by it. You were willing to do whatever it took to, to get to that. Say that what an right? it girl yes, is. yes, I was. A lunch girl. I run for lunch. I copy girl, payroll clerk. Mm -hmm. Bus washer, whatever they need me to whatever do, they I did. Needed you to, you to I did. Well, I did. I was at just Vancouver last May. It's a beautiful, it's beautiful. Country. beautiful. Oh my God, it's, it's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, one of that the best clock. cities to That's live so in. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. So after that, uh, my former boss acknowledged and recognizes my hard work. I'm sure. And he said, "We're moving to Vegas. I'm going to open a transportation company there. Would you like to come to the U.S.?" I was very excited. Never been to the. Really? Yes. That, yeah. That's and so and I've always it. dreamt about it, right? Like everybody from my country in the Philippines, they're all like, you know, America, America made in America is like number one. Oh so my gosh. we moved with four buses from Canada in Las Vegas. And um, what year was that? 1995. Wow. And in less than five years, we ha I run the place operations, sales, again, you know, he, he was so good of giving me that authorization, that full autonomy to run that bus company. So we grew it from five, four motor coaches to 62 motor coaches. Wow. And in less oh, than boy, five what years, a story. <laughs> wow. and in less than five oh years, gosh, um, that's huge. They have Coach USA, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Uh, I was just noticed. in Las Vegas two years ago. So, yeah, yeah I haven't been. I wasn't there like in 25 years. I went two years ago. It's, it's beautiful. It's, I it's like Las Vegas. growing. Yeah. yeah. So after that, 
um, Scotch USA bought us, and uh, they wouldn't wow. um, they wouldn't take the deal unless I come with a deal. I'm sure. Really? So um, that gave me that opportunity to become a millionaire for the first time at age 30. So he, the you. owner decided we got to keep her, so give her 10% of the sale. Perfect. So that's how I started, and and. Oh, um, I want to hug you. For <laughs> it's a lot of hard yes. work. It was a lot know. of hard work. It was a oh, lot no, of. Oh, I get that. Yeah, yeah, oh and then gosh. not knowing anybody in Las Vegas, and at that time in 1995, there was not a lot of master plan community there. It was just really yeah. like the, the casino, the strip. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and then uh, in less than a year or two, I didn't fit in that corporate world, so they fired me. <laughs> the place that gave you the money fired you. Yeah, they fired me. At least me. you had the yeah. money. So <laughs> when the transportation company took you on and with the sale, per se, they wanted to keep you. Yes. And after a year, you didn't go, let's say they didn't go on with their culture, per se, right? And they let you go. Correct. I get that. I get Correct. That. Yes. Yeah, it's, I it's that. difficult, especially in the transportation. Very it's, yes. a very, uh, it's a very male-dominated industry. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so I was working too hard and didn't realize I was <laughs> offending a lot of, you know, like... Men. I, I was coming so early, mm -hmm. you know, thinking, hey, my boss now is in the East Coast. I better come at 6 a.m. So wow. that it's, you know, 9 a.m. here. And mm -hmm. then, I, yeah. So we did that. I did, I got let go and um, I decided I'm going to go on my own. Good for you. And uh, Nevada is one of the states that is regulated as far as transportation. Mm -hmm. they, it's they, very it's regulated. a very regulated yeah. industry. So it took me 17 months to get one transportation license. And how much is that for one bus? That is to operate a limited number of bus, but to operate within the city. So wow. to go through all the paperwork, all the app app application process, the red tape, 17 months later you get your license. Correct. And they wonder why people don't want to go in business, right? Correct, correct. Thank it's you. so Thank difficult. You. It's so, so difficult. difficult. And it's so, like I said, it's wow. very... Uh, it, it was trying times because, you know, a lot of the uh, owners, especially male owners that's been there 50 years, mm -hmm. they oppose it all. They don't like, really like oh. change. <laughs> is there so many licenses they can give give out in Nevada or is it open? It's open, but you have to prove yourself that, that you yes. know the business that, yes. and you're not yeah. going to ruin the market pricing, I basically. Yep. So okay. after 17 months, I started my own and it's called Celebrity Coaches. And that's the one I sold in 2017. I started with two party buses, and after 13 years in the business, I sold it three, four times its worth. Good last 2017. You. Yeah, I don't have to work again. Oh but. my God, what a success <laughs> story! But you are such. I'm but you gonna, worked a lot in yeah. the years. You, you worked double what most people work. So I did. You made up for it. I did. I, I cannot believe you're not going to come up with something. You got that in your determination, <laughs> in your power, in your spirit. Yeah, I, I, you know, I must admit, I was, you know, it was difficult. I didn't know how to balance it. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any I balance. Yeah. Um, you know, it was work, 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 mm -hmm. and you know. Um, your personal life suffers, and mm -hmm. you know the only thing it I does. know to do is 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 it's work hard. I get that. You know, it was it was good that I surrounded myself with good friends. Mm -hmm. You know, and also I. Um, Where did you get the drive to work? Do you have any idea? Is it something inside you that you? I think it's like thought it's about, instilled. Out? Yeah, it's instilled in me mm -hmm. by my aunt. Yes, okay. Because that's all we did. You know. Um, I was very fortunate that I was given an opportunity to move to this country. Yeah. And I, our culture is such where, you know, you give back, you know, like, yes. hey, we, you know, you, I scratch your back, you scratch and my back yes. kind of thing. So yeah. for me, her giving me the opportunity, having 27 nieces and nephews, and wow. I'm one of the niece, like, and you were to the go, that was, yeah, so to me, it was, was you know what, I don't want to disappoint you. Mm -hmm. If you get up at 5, I'll get up at 445 yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> so I, You gave back a lot. Yes. You gave back a lot. Yes. You were very grateful what how your life absolutely, was. Absolutely, you were yeah. going to give back. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's beautiful. Thank you, yeah. Now, Siblings. when you came to Canada, did, did you speak, how many languages did you speak at that I, time? I just, uh, I spoke. English okay. and Tagalog, which is our native tongue. Uh, we're very fortunate the Philippines is a very um, westernized culture. Yeah. So from a very early age, mm -hmm. you speak English. Oh. Oh, so wow. that's so that, the advantage. That must, yes, yes. Because that's, yes. that's very difficult to go to a country and yes. not know the language. Correct. 
correct. I do not know how to speak French because yes. that is also their language in there. Yeah. But a lot in the West Coast is mostly English speaking. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that, yeah. But it, it was, yeah. Well, please tell me, what was it like growing up in the Philippines? You came over here as an adolescent, right? A teenager? Yeah. You know, um, there's just a lot of people around. <laughs> there's so many relatives. It's just like the whole, the whole street, you know everybody. That was... You know, I would not trade that for anything else because we could play outside. We could climb trees and, and pick fruits and just not worry about anything. I think that's the, the biggest difference that I see okay. from me taking care of some of the kids. Americans who worry all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just play outside and we share toys and we don't really have a lot of toys, so we make our own toys. Yeah. Use your imagination yes, and your brain. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Very creative. Yes, yeah, we just... I think that's the big difference, and you just, like I said, you're just so involved outside that, you know, that that you learn, you know, to adjust yeah. as, as opposed to just always, you know, in front of the video games. And you're stuff. naturally yeah. flexible, yes. which you need to be yes. in business. Yeah, so right now, you're putting it in. And I think, you know, that brought me to become very tenacious is mm -hmm. because I, you know, I, I was really much, that's my experience, yeah. Well, when you go into a 17-month process, a lot of people in month maybe four or five would have been like, I'm done, it's not going to work, it's over. But because you have the natural work, the drive, tenacity, and flexibility, you were like, no, 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 you're not stopping me. What hoop do I have to go through next to make this work? Right. Like, what made you not stop the process? Hmm. I think the more that they bullied me. The more you wanted it. The more I wanted <laughs> to, like... Because every time I go to a hearing, there's another company yep. yes. uh, no, opposing me. And they're probably me. big companies. They're not oh, small yes. companies. Yes, yes. Huge companies. Mm -hmm. that has been around in Las Vegas for 50 years. And Our, probably the headquarters are probably even somewhere else in the... Yeah, they own everything. Mm -hmm. Like the, anything that has wheels belongs to them, mm -hmm. from a cab to limos yeah. to buses. So, who, you know. So I think every time I go there and I've been turned down, the more I become inspired you know of course I, i'm not perfect i'd cry i go oh, home and yeah, i cry and i say one. to myself yeah. well, oh, that's it I'm, I'm done you know i'm done, I'm <laughs> done. Tonight, and i wake yes. up in the morning and then i wake up in the morning <laughs> exactly i'm like where's my suit <laughs> right you I'm know going back yes correct, yeah, pretty correct. Cool. did correct. you eventually have to get legal help or did you do it I did it by myself That's the first amazing. time. Wow. And I think because, number one, you're worried spending money mm -hmm. without, you know, having anything coming in. Yes. Then you're not so, I'm not so sure if I'm going to get it. Mm -hmm. I knew in my heart I will get it. But there's always that question mark. The yes. brain, yeah, your brain kind of like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, that what if you don't get it? You're going to spend all this legal mm -hmm. fees. Mm -hmm. So, and I think that's part of the delay too is because, you know, I go there and they tell me to correct this and I go back and, yeah. yeah. But it was a great experience. Now, your parents, and any, any siblings back in the Philippines or is everyone here now? Uh, my parents, uh, they passed away early in oh, time. My, yeah. gracious, mm -hmm. my sister is still back in the Philippines. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So get yeah. someone to go back and visit, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. So you got the license after 17 months. Tell me what it was like running a business solo as a woman. It's um, it's it's exciting and at the same time it's um, trying. Mm -hmm. You know, um, everywhere I go, especially the big casinos, are like, oh, that's taken. That's you know, th you're not gonna never gonna get that business. And and so that was the trying part. The the exciting part is learning more about myself too, because you oh, know wow. I wasn't a a good manager right away. Mm -hmm. I was, time. you know, I was always micromanager, mm -hmm. you yeah, know, yeah. I'm very <laughs> hyper. So it, it took a while to really adjust and mm -hmm. learn to let go it, uh, yeah. and delegate. But as you let go and delegate, you probably could expand more. Correct. Yes. Which is yes. It's hard though to let, because that's your baby in a sense. Yes. Like you yes. started with 17 yes. month process two buses, mm -hmm. and then someone mm -hmm. else is going to kind of take over, you'll still own it. Yes. That's yes. a hard that's, let go. That, that's hard to, to practice. And like I said, and also being the, the owner, you don't take time for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes, you don't. Absolutely. When did you realize, um, certainly for the people who are out there watching, when did you, because it took me a long time to figure it out, and I don't think I figured this out yet, when did you realize you could have been micromanaging? Did someone bring it to your attention? Did you figure it out on your own? Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. I lost some really good quality people. Yes, yeah. Mistakes yeah. that I will, you know, 
uh, you know, I still remember to this day because I'm such a micromanager and I'm mm -hmm. such a so hyper, you know, mm -hmm. calm down. <laughs> it's easy to say, but it's hard when you're in it, yes, you know, yeah. but, uh, you know, towards the end, you know, like a uh, few later, years later, you realize, you know what, why did I lose that person again? Why, did I, you know, and then you learn, like I said, you know what, let go, don't micromanage too much your people, empower them, mm -hmm. right? Because then the more that you empower them, I realize, like, Wait a minute. To do. I can I can vacation <laughs> yeah. a little bit, right? Like exactly. you're making their decision. Yeah. They're not calling me. Yeah. It's a good thing, you know. It's a good thing. Yeah. It's a great day as a business owner when you can go away on vacation and someone doesn't call you. That's right, right. Paulina. That's right. That's right. <laughs> then don't that's you feel right. like you've done your work? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's when that light bulbs. Yes. Yeah. Like you know yeah. what? Because I've empowered them now, yeah. I was able to enjoy this three-day mm -hmm. weekend. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Because you're twenty-four-seven. Yes. Well, when you, right? Yes. 24 7. The city's 24 7. The business is 24 mm -hmm. 7. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it a hard business, other than the regulatory part, is it a hard business to get into, like with insurances and workmen's? Like, is it a difficult mm. business to start up? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Transportation is, is tough, especially in, in the state of Nevada, like aside from the regulatory stuff, because um, one, like I said, there's a, such a shortage of, of good commercial driver's license. Okay. Okay. Um, so the people yeah. to actually drive. do the job. Mm -hmm. Yes. I did everything except drive. <laughs> <laughs> um, that part is I think the hardest thing is, you know, keeping that staff happy. There's so much competition in Las yes. Vegas. How can I compete with the benefits from the big casino as right. a small business yes. owner? So that I have to really learn and say we need to make it more like a family atmosphere I get to learn the employees family yes. and have a lot of s barbecues and you know for to the, make them for yeah. the casino employees for my employees, for employees. Yeah. because it's so hard to compete with the national company that for has 7,000 employees mm -hmm. what wow. kind of you know so I, I I what I did is I you know get to know each and every employee of mine especially mm -hmm. the drivers because mm -hmm. like I said it's so hard to get good ones that you know what if I make it personalized mm -hmm. and get to know their children That's get to know benefit. their wife maybe they could tell them don't move you know she's so yeah. you know, involved mm -hmm. yeah and then also they start advocating for you yes I'll say hey come work over here it's a really good agency yes. to work for yes yeah yes. how many at one time employees did you have 58 oh, that's yeah. busy that's yeah. busy 58 what do you do when somebody doesn't show up to drive a bus what do you do? Cry? No. <laughs> if, they don't, if they don't shop for a bus uh, to, to, to drive, drive? Like you get this whole thing in your yeah. um, I'm sure it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, we've learned that we have an hour call before, obviously, the pickup. Okay. But, of course, we're still going to be late because, you know, w yeah. you know but, trying you know, to find someone. I think, w you know, we're just really good at maneuvering and making changes and last wow. minute. Lucky, too, because the strip is just so short. Yeah. We're not okay. going very far. Yeah. So. True. Yeah. Well, you know, it's just really a matter of my front people reacting fast and saying, you know what, let's change this gentleman's work to this other guy and this other guy. Yeah. But it, yes, it, it happens. So it, that would be like me in Las Vegas, and I would call your company to transport me from here to a show type of thing? Mostly groups. We deal a so, lot oh, with so groups. Oh, so a, 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 lot a lot travel groups. group going yes. as a group, yes. 10, 15 people, you yes. would take them. Yes. So Uber has not gotten in your didn't way. Didn't affected my job. I focused on groups, uh, Got it, convention groups. shuttles, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and the leisure now. travelers. Yeah. Like, there's so many, you know, and it's yeah, all over so, the world. Yes. You got people coming in all over the world. Yes. So yes. you are, you're, you're really managing all that. Yes. Time-wise yes. and everything. Yes. Ooh, yes. I'm, I'm an avid tra uh, traveler, so I get what you're talking about. Yes. Ooh. Yes. On your side, not your side. Wow. Yeah, we have over 150,000 room nights in really? Las Vegas, which means at any given sold out night, there's 300,000 people there. Wow, wow. wow. Now, how did you finally get into the big casinos? Well, um, I keep knocking on that door, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they keep, they're gonna and they keep saying no. But, you know, it's just being there at the right time right when yes. they call. When, yes, timing. Because, you know, you make a presentation most of the time. Yeah, Doesn't okay. matter until you yeah, actually produce. Yeah. But then there's one event. Um, we're big in NASCAR, as you know. We yes. do that now twice oh, yeah. a year, but NASCAR. And one of the casino called me because their buses didn't show up for their high rollers. And yeah. oh, this is your opportunity. Yeah. So just being there at the right time when they called, yep. we Tiny. rescued the group, and the rest is history. 
Really? And you know, and the and you've been rescued. Yes. You know? yes. And the good thing is, you know, once one large casino start using your services, yeah. then they all talk. Then, yeah. The second, like, mm. she must be really that great. Mm. You know, she was able to comply with all that requirements that this casino have. So the next one came, next one, next one. And Wow! Yeah. At, at, uh, when I sold, we were doing business with all the large wow. major casinos That's amazing. in town. That is absolutely yeah. amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank, you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Young you. Thank you. Young professional. Wow. Thank you. Another country. Oh. Now the drivers, do they do they get tipped and whatnot? Yes. Okay. Yes. So they probably got excited when you were with the big casinos. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. They do. Big part of their their salary is the good gratuity tip. that they receive. I have a question. Maybe you can answer. As Amy said that. So if someone has a like a transportation company, mm -hmm. what should a tip be to them? 20, if they were taking someone from Providence to Boston, right? It's twenty percent. I charge twenty percent. You put it right on the, the yes. Yeah, for okay. The corporations That's exactly. To pay. Okay. Exactly, yes. Yeah. How about individuals? Do you have any of those or not really? I do. Like, say for example, we have this. Like, I'm moving the group of, let's say, Hewlett Packard. Yeah. Just for example, their group uh, sales team. Um, the CEO would want his own transportation, Good. so yeah, yeah, that would that would be the got it. Yeah, the so twenty percent is the average. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. To know. Good to know. Good to know. And people are great; they don't even question it. They're yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's part know. of well, it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> even if it's even if it's a sole proprietor business, if they, it's just one person working and they don't have other people working, would it still be twenty percent? I think so. Good to yeah. know. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I think so. Like teach yeah. me it's industry yeah. standard. I think. Yeah, right? industry yeah. standard. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. So you are now retired. Yes. No, this I don't believe that. No. <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. You're like everyone's dream. <laughs> yeah. So now you can, but now that you're retired, you went from a very busy person. Were you, at first was it like kind of like what am I going to do with myself or were you like ready and prepared? I wasn't ready. <laughs> I don't think you could ever prepare, especially when you're so used to working 7 days a week, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, in the beginning I was uh, you know, like, what am I going to do, you yes. know? And then I I focus on working out, you know, nice. doing, you know, I love going to yoga and Pilates, so yeah, I focus yeah. on that, spending more time with friends and family, yeah. you know, I think because you missed out on, on that mm -hmm. a lot. So Absolutely. Yeah, yeah so, but... Um, but you don't see yourself opening any, doing anything else? Maybe in the future. <laughs> I uh, I'd like to tell my story. I'd like to inspire some you know, young women, especially immigrants, to... Mm -hmm. So tell them. Tell them what you want I, them to hear. This is a great, great story point, and yeah, it really is. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Yes. I mean, you just have to be really have that drive, hard work, mm -hmm. of course, but also, you know, fail forward, mm -hmm. you know. And it's, fail it's, forward. Yeah. I like that. It's um, how you get up, you know, and, mm -hmm. you know, and the, those failures t taught me a lot of things. It's, you know, nothing is perfect. N nothing will be just, you know, um, mm -hmm. handed to you, but work hard, but at the same time, play hard as well, mm -hmm. you know, because it's important that when you're also getting that time off, that you work better. Mm -hmm. you're, you know, when you come back from that little weekend vacation, mm -hmm. you're, you're, a, you're more focused yeah. rather than You're ready working. to go. Yes. Correct. Seven days a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Fail forward. Yeah. That's very. I've never heard of that. That's, that's amazing. That's but basically, it's the way you get back up. Yes. Fail so you see a lot forward. of people fail, and maybe never. They yeah. just stay down. They come back. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. You got it. So it's great to say no. Get back up. It's <coughs> it's one mistake, one issue, one thing. Just get up and move on. Because imagine if you stopped at your first. Absolutely. You would. You will never get there. You would never yeah. be in Rhode Island. Yes. <laughs> The great small estate. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. When, you, when your aunt made that phone call back then and said, come on over to Canada, what were you thinking? You're a teenager. How, how do you leave home? I, I can't leave Lincoln, Rhode Island. Yeah, no, yeah. My home. parents are like, opposed to it. Like, don't go, don't really? go. Yeah, like, no, no. Like, but you know what? It's, um, it's, I think it's my father that always tells me, and since I was a little girl, he would always like kind of pinch my little cheek and said, yeah. you're going to go places. Oh. And I, at that, you know, when you're young, you don't know what that yeah. is. So yeah. maybe I'm going to play <laughs> somewhere, whatever. But he you're always says, places. you know, you, you're going to go places. That's and and wow. you know what? It, you know what? It's what's instilled in you. Oh. It, it really truly comes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was You're right. He was. Yes, he totally <laughs> was. You're an inspiration. You really are. Thank you. Honestly, thank you. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. You make people believe that they can accomplish something. 
Thank and it you. doesn't have to be this exact direct path. It can be crazy and wild and you just absolutely and you absolutely. took the opportunity you could have stayed in Canada and not gone to Vegas but you said no I'm gonna try this yes and you could have yes. stopped with the 17th month regulatory situation but you're like nope I'm gonna do this yes nothing really stops you no you and now you're in Rhode Island I'm so yes. excited wow. I, I love the place yeah. do you? yes I do yeah. I do uh, last summer I drove everywhere nice have uh -huh. you been here for a winter yet not yet. Okay. Oh, okay. This will be my first. Call Amy in February when you, <laughs> Call Amy. When you shovel. Say, Amy, Amy, yeah. I'm around the show. Yeah. I told you I like Rhode Island. You now. might want to be a snowbird. <laughs> oh, okay. Go somewhere yeah. warm. Yeah, yeah. Be yeah. Can, oh, yeah cool. That yeah. first winter might yeah. put you down. Yeah, we have a little place in Florida. Oh, then you'll so, fine. Yeah, you're fine. we're going to head down there. <laughs> you are yeah, a yeah you'll be fine then. Yeah. Come back in like April. <laughs> yes, 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 I will. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Well, this show has been amazing. And wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so thank much you for so being much. on. No, thank you. Any thank you. final words you want to leave for listening audience? Especially well, for immigrants coming over. Like, they're going to get a lot from this. Your inspiration, your determination, your smile. You made it. And you know what? Can I say your age? 51 years old. You're young. You're a very young woman. Thank and, you. And honestly, thank and you, you. your energy that you just send out there is absolutely exciting. Thank like you. I said earlier, you know, if I can do it, anybody can do it. You just yes. have to have that determination in you. Mm -hmm. Fail forward. Like Fail I said, er forward. I like like I said earlier, yeah. yeah. Um, don't be afraid, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of help out there, too, you know. Mm -hmm. And so surround yourself with good friends, good people. So, of course, you, know? you have a bad day. Who do you call? Is there someone out there you call <laughs> if you're having a bad day? I call Andy. He's Andy, my rock. Okay. He's we my love rock. the name Andy. Yes. <laughs> I, have, I have an Andy. He's my rock. She has yes. an Andy, too. So <laughs> oh, we know great. what that's like. Yes. Yes. Great yes, Andy. yes. Fabulous. Yes. It's important that you have that mm -hmm. support system. Yes. It's 100%. so important. Yes. Great. Great support system. It's a must. System. It's a must. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we're probably about ready to end. Is there anything you want to last words say? Like I said, I just am very thankful. Thank you for having me. No, this no, is a great or, uh, organization and highlighting us. Thank you so much. I really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. And for if joining you start us. another business, you're going to call us. Yes. Come back on. This will be my first call. <laughs> for sure. My first call, honestly. I'm out of retirement. Because <laughs> you're keeping us inspired. Yeah. You know yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you, Paulina. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very you much. So much.